It's the Queen's takeover here for changing the game. All female ass kickers giving lumps to you lames. Carolina boss lady giving orders cause she run it like a freaking assassin. You won't even see it coming. Got the Texas sports queen repping Houston for days. She's the voice of freaking reason. Keep you stupid at bay. And lastly, it's the Jester Delaware is a home. Talking crap to Jolie, your brains might get blown. And you know Kat and Kayla both a rep in the South. So you ever disrespect, you might get smacked in the mouth. Three women, one vision, podcast with a mission. Leaving haters so pissed, they be stumbling and tripping. Trust me when I tell you, you don't want that smoke. All female trio will make you lose that hope. It's time, so turn it up, let's get ready to go. It's the Queen's Takeover, ladies, start that show. and the queens have arrived our first show of the year ladies how are y'all doing i mean doing pretty good i mean it's 2024 got four years coming up with you beautiful faces and you know and it's hard to honestly believe that we've been it this long and you know got a lot of stuff coming on i mean we're on the road to wrestlemania and you know so it's hard to believe it right jolie I'm still recovering from cold games and being out in the elements and having four days of work this week, which is the first time in a while for me. So I'm just kind of tired of shit. (laughs) Oh, no. Like New Year's Eve. Yes, I know. The Eagles lost. You don't have to keep reminding me. This is to the people out in the comments. I don't fucking care. See, unlike a lot of sports fans who, who... get all angry and pissy and try to whip their dicks out to show how big they are. Um, I come from the school of grandma. The school of grandma is win or lose. You get one hour to be pissed off. After that, brush it off. Love your team. So I'm chill. We're going to the playoffs. Some of y'all's teams ain't. Sorry, Steve, your Patriots fucking suck ass. Um, Carolina Panthers suck ass. No, your ownership sucks ass. There's a difference. Right. The team would actually be good if they Those worked with the team. Like, exactly. I, I think there needs to be a rule that if you hire a new coach, you cannot fire them until midway through the second year. You have to give them time to fix shit. I feel like Frank Reich got fucking screwed in Carolina. Mm-hmm. I agree. Oh. Um. But other than that, uh, just working. Kayla's got the Rumble coming up. I legitimately have Mania coming up. Um, and it was funny. I was looking at tickles, t- yeah, tickles, tickets for <laughs> WrestleCon. <laughs> tickets for WrestleCon, and it's like a three day pass is two hundred and forty one dollars. You don't get a lot like uh, you know meet and greets with that, but like right. you get like a buffet, like you get treated like a fucking king. Like buffets, you get a watch along with some of the wrestlers that are there. Oh, I saw that online. Yeah. I was like, wow. God, I was like, God damn, if I was not working. Well, all right, knock on wood that I get invited back. We don't I have not officially it's been not invited. official yet. It's not official yet, but I'm pretty sure because I have zero marks against me. In fact, my section loves me, so they would probably throw a fucking hissy fit if I got fired. I just, I, I just don't know how they're going to take it when I tell them in a couple of years that I'm not coming back. I've already decided my update at, at the link, unfortunately. So, Okay. Um, I know people that have been there for 20 years. I know people have been there for 10 years. And I think once I get to maybe 10, a little bit over 10 years, because 10 years is this year for me being at the link. Oh, wow. Yeah, so... I'm thinking probably by year 15, I am actually going to bow out. Okay. Um, nothing against anybody. I love working for the organization. Um, I just don't know. Like, you know, there, there's things I want to do. And having, you know, stuff. I don't know. We'll see. But I know I'm definitely making it until World Cup. That's the one thing it, it was like, you're not excited. I'm like, dude, I'm always excited for WrestleMania, but it's World mm-hmm. Cup. Right. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, getting to see now 
Personally, I wish it was the Women's World Cup because our fucking men's team sucks ass. And mm. yes, I know our women's team this year kind of sucked ass. But that's because our coach was ass. And now we've got, I love, I, her name is slipping me right now, but I know she was the former Chelsea coach. And she is fucking phenomenal. And she's going to bring up the youth movement and keep some of the veterans. And it's going to be a phenomenal team. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. But so, yeah, we all got our things coming up. Uh, let's see all right so you know us we keep track of uh football games on sunday afternoons and a big one that i'm keeping track of uh tennessee and jacksonville two minutes left in the second titans are up 21 to 10 over jacksonville and and right now both the atlanta falcons uh new orleans saints are tied and the both teams are praying that somehow Carolina makes a miracle <laughs> so they can win. They're yeah, last time I, yeah, last time I checked, it was 3 nothing. Tampa before, what was it? Let me pull it back up. Like, their yeah. defense is flying. Like, I've been, like, every time they bring up, like, I, their defense has been flying, and I don't even know if Baker Mayfield's back out yet. I, he got hurt. Yeah, because it's like he came into the game with like rib injuries, and then I know he got like nineteen pumped. seconds. Nineteen seconds until halftime. It's three nothing Tampa Bay. Okay, yeah. So it's like I know he got pummeled on one uh, play and everything. He was, he was like hobbling towards the sideline and everything. So it's like I think he may have reaggravated his ribs and stuff. <sighs> All right, can I can I glow for a second? Can I glow for a second? Uh, glow about what? I'm just happy. I'm just happy as a Texans fan. It's been four miserable years. We've had a shitload go on in, in in the franchise and everything, but we're back in the playoffs. D'Amico Ryan's coach of the year. He he solidified it last night. CJ Stroud, he's the man. I'm just so happy. It's like it's it's like icing on the cake as far as like how much the franchise has turned around this year and it's like anything anything that happens in the playoffs I'll just take it with a grain of salt and everything I'm just so happy we got this far and it's just like I just see nothing but the best for the Texans going forward that's it uh I I do want to point one thing out with the Texans and D'Amico Ryans number one I hate everything Texas we all know this this is not a secret but I will say that I am except, happy. Except for me and the family you like. Yes. But they're technically okay. not original Texas. So, I mean, actually, yeah, technically he is. Fuck. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. Take that back. Just just the, the one family member down there that I like and, and you and Steve. Um, okay. And maybe people at Mission Pro. But okay. we'll, we'll have that a discussion at a later date. Okay. Uh, but uh, as somebody who has met D'Amico Ryan's, um, who came into Dave and Buster's on a random day to go bowling with some of some other team players and their families and took time out of his his day to take autographs and pictures. Sorry, I just saw another interception, I think. Oh wow, okay. Um but uh with the staff and he tipped he was tipped the staff well. He he took care of the people that took care of him that day. So you know, he played for the Eagles for a little bit. So I absolutely love and respect the dude. And I am happy for him. I I just uh, hope that what is happening to Jalen Hurts uh, will not happen to CJ Stroud. And that is all the doubt, all the criticism, everything. Well, he was a first-year player. He was a rookie. They didn't have tape on him. They didn't have tape on D'Amico Ryan's. They didn't know how to do this. They didn't know how to do that. So it's it's just, you know, I, I, one thing that I've noticed, and I've even noticed this back with Dak, even, again, not fucking hate everything Cowboys and Dallas related even more than all of Texas. Right. Um, but the fact that black quarterbacks get scrutinized 10 times more than white quarterbacks is fucking hilarious. Josh Allen. Yes. I know we're going NFL right now, but 
<laughs> we're taking over fucking everything. Fuck off, people. There you go. Keep going. Josh Allen has what the most interceptions this year, and they're they're, you know, he's up in the MVP running. Um, Jared Goff is in the MVP running for some ungodly reason because he led the the Lions to the playoffs and yada yada yada. You know, all these white quarterbacks that do worse, like play worse than some of the black quarterbacks, do not get scrutinized. But yet, Jalen Hurts has a bad year. Um, Dak Prescott had all those interceptions last year. Um, Bryce Young was getting scrutinized. Like, he's a fucking rookie. Uh CJ Stroud, when he started, he was getting scrutinized. But, you know, you don't hear anything about Herbert, especially Herbert. I I don't know how he gets swept under the rug. Uh, You know, Trevor Lawrence, you know, surfer boy. You know, is Shad Khan paying people off on that one? Because he's playing like ass right now. Man should even be out there. I'm sorry. Yeah, how are you going to risk your player's health to get into the Super like to, not the Super Bowl, but in the playoffs? You know, it's just fucking ridiculous that right now you're risking everything to possibly lose him. And it's just it's just fucking ridiculous. And again, I normally don't root against Doug Peterson because again, much love and respect for the dude, but uh-huh. fuck them. Um fuck the Khan family. So I want the Texans to get the first place in the AFC South, even though the AFC South is just as bad as the NFC South, apparently. Well, at least we have winning records. I mean, or, like, I, I, I mean, I mean, yeah, like, but it's like NFC South. A lot of them have like barely winning records or five hundred and everything. But so it's like, sorry, Kayla. <laughs> no, but the only caveat about winning the South is that. We'll get we'll, we'll host the first wild card, but it's against the Browns. But the Browns, when the, we played them, we didn't have CJ because that was that was one of his concussion weeks. But still, it's gonna be a, it would be a hard matchup. I'm gonna say this right now. I'm sorry. I'm rooting for the Browns because I'm a Flacco girl. Yeah, he, yeah. He's a, no, he's local for me. Dude's local. I know. I know. What were you gonna say, Kayla? I'm just saying, like. um far as the NFC South goes, um, honestly, I will say ever since the owner of the owner, Carolina hasn't been this bad in forever. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I understand um, they did go like one and whatever at one point, but it's been forever since they've actually been this bad. And, you know, I, as a fan, you know, I want to keep supporting them. I absolutely, you know, because... You know, I've had a fact to work with them this season, and it's great, you know, work with them. And I just hate how the team is. Like Joy said, Frank should have got better than what he did. And I knew nobody believed me, and I knew exactly when that record was going to happen when mm-hmm. it started. I was saying he's going to get released because the same thing happened to Matt Rule. But the thing is, it gets me with that. Matt got two seasons. But Matt had so many issues, issues, it still didn't work. It just – but another thing is, and a lot of people say this is not true – um, honestly, I would say this, we'd probably still have Cam Newton as our quarterback because he basically, when he brought him back for that one game, what happened? Carolina won with Cam Newton. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, Cam is always that overhyped, energetic quarterback that wants to do. And the thing is, he, the owner does not want the fans to be the fans. Players don't want to be the players interacting with the fans. That is one thing that Jerry Richardson had. He made sure that, you know, let them be them. And that's one thing he's afraid of. Right. And I saw something that there's a supposedly, I don't know how true, a petition going around that they're trying to boot his ass out of ownership. And I hope damn well it happens. And well, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh-huh. Um, as many things. Also heard a little, um, I don't know how true this one is. I found out who the owner was originally, he bought out one of the people that was interested in um buying the Carolina and it turned out supposedly in my opinion the dude would probably would have done better because he would probably might want to take control uh-huh. the rumor has said that David Tepper bought out Vince McMahon whoa and you know he put a pity, pretty penny down when you let him step down did not want to go over his head but I don't even think David Tepper knows anything about damn football because his sure ass 
don't know anything about it. And at this point, I mean, he may suck with Jacksonville Jaguars, but I would rather have Tony Khan come in here being owner. At least, at least they're getting some kind of wins going. Damn, uh, that's uh, bad. And I will say this for your owner. Um, I, I believe they're going to ban him for being around fans because fans are going to take uh, yes, that advantage, me a- advantage of his ass, you know, just to, to, to mock him and shit. Fuck, I'd do it. I would go down there and make the <laughs> motherfucker pour a drink on me. Okay, million dollars, bitch. Let's go. Exactly. Oh I, I read that. I said no, no. That is something. There. That is something that um, Jerry Richardson, may him rest in peace, would frown upon. Mm-hmm. That guy would have been out the damn door if I was anybody. But let's say Jerry was still your owner. If anybody, a part of, um, any a part of the corporation or management or that, would have been out the door that day. Mm. Jerry, people above Jerry probably would have thrown his ass out that day. He is not oh, yeah. fan oriented. I know people up and come that company that works the season. There's one girl that worked there when I did, and she found me on Facebook the other day. And her first response to me was, "Hope you're doing good. Glad you haven't been working since they switched owners." Oh wow, that bad shit. She's not even going back next year. Ooh. And like Jolie says, she had people that's worked there for almost ten, you know, fifteen some years at the Lincoln. Mm-hmm. This girl's been there for almost twelve, and she don't want to go back. Oh wow. I'm not going to mm-hmm. call her name out on here, but, you know, okay. what I'm just saying, it's it's gotten crazy. It's really gotten crazy from understanding. And then the whole thing of his issue, throwing uh, whatever on a fan is one thing. And then someone made the nervous says, well, he's interacting with his wrestling. No, 90% of the time, if a fan is um, interacted in any wrestling event, that was that was plan ahead, I'm pretty sure. So that's something you just don't do. I don't care if they made you mad or whatever. Trust right. me, if you would have thrown it at me, I probably would have got every freaking money and Queen's Takeover would be sitting at home right now getting paid. Jolie wouldn't have to worry about her Stompy's job or um Lincoln Financial and you cat, you would have you wouldn't have to worry about yours. You'll be sitting at home and I wouldn't be worried about mine either, because we'd be well taken care of. Yeah. <laughs> I just be baking. Uh, all right. One all right, one last football question. How'd y'all do on fantasies? Oh my god. I'm in a fifth place battle and a third place battle right now. Okay. I only had the one. Okay. Um, I got so fed up with it because everyone kept getting injured on my list and I couldn't switch it out. So I basically get, gave, got, yeah, gave up, ended up going to the toilet bowl and, and losing the toilet bowl. So yeah, that's how my fantasy football went. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. So I'm in two. Um, so I did two. One of them, I'm in a third place battle right now, and I'm losing it. And then my other one ended last week, and I won. I saw that. Congratulations. I I won. I beat eleven other teams, but excuse me, eleven other guys, including my husband, my brother-in-law, and my nephew. You go, girl. And of course, I texted my nephew and my brother-in-law, and they're like saying, "Ah, we felt sorry for you," and gives no, them that just like excuses. I'm like, going, shut up." They just don't want to admit that they got beat by a guy. Uh, excuse me, beat by a girl. <laughs> Especially me. Exactly. And it's like funny story. Um, one time after my nephew won, it was like his third, I think. He took. He actually spent the money. And went to this website and got a mug, a medal, and a trophy saying that he was a three-time champ. I went on Amazon, found a ring for a reasonable price, and I ordered it. So my ring's on the way. It says Fantasy Champ 2023. I don't give a damn. They can say it's tacky. I was like going, ha, I beat you fuckers. Moving on. (laughs) So you want to know something funny? Like I completely forgot that I had Najuku in for Cleveland, and he's not playing today. But I am already beating this guy one ninety two to one forty one. Oh wow! And I still have Tua, James Cook, uh, Metcalf, Connor, okay. and the Kansas City defense. So okay. I think I'm still. I think I'm going to win my fifth place one. My okay. third, my third place one is going to be a little bit more tight. Um, but as of right now, I'm winning that 119 and 98. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. I just need Jamari Gibbs to run a little bit more. <laughs> I know, right? But th- I- I'm surprised that Detroit's playing a lot of their starters. 
Well, so here's the thing that we I just they said when I was listening. If somehow both the Cowboys and the Eagles lose, if both teams lose, they would get the number two seed. So they're playing for that. They're playing for seeding. Yes. Okay. I don't know if the Cowboys are playing their starters. I know we're playing our starters. Um but I I have no idea what's gonna happen. I don't know either. Cause like I'm watching I, I say this. And I I disagreed with us taking out players when we were a losing team so one team could get to the playoffs and another team didn't. I think no matter what, unless you are already in the playoffs, then that's that's fine. But if you're not playing your starters for pride for your coaches who might be their last season and you don't play with heart, Y'all don't deserve to be in the fucking NFL. Get the fuck out. Yeah. Because so, I understand protecting players. But. No, nah, because it's like, I know, like, Browns are sent, Browns said Flacco today because they're already in for next week. Uh, I just read something that Chiefs are uh, downgrading Kelsey to out. And I think Mahomes is sitting today as well because they're going to have to play wall card for the first time in a few years. Um. And then some, some Niners, uh, Niners. Oh, they're oh, number yeah, one Niners. seed regardless. So they're they they're sitting their entire Rams. Lamar. Ram, Rams are sitting their some of their players. Yeah, and then the, last night uh, or yesterday, uh, Lamar and OBJ sat out. Well, I don't blame them. That last night was hell. Yeah, that was that was ridiculous. All right, ladies. Okay, so let's actually. Damn, I can't believe we spent about 20, 30 minutes on football. Fuck. Whew. Well, we really don't have much to there's not really a lot that's happened, in my opinion, in wrestling at yeah. the moment. But I mean, I mean, a couple of big headliners we need to get out of the way. So first week of wrestling's in the books for the year. You had day one on Monday, New Year's Revolution, uh Friday night and everything. We've got and so the WWE the undisputed WWE Universal Championship picture is kind of up in the air right now because you had a three way on Friday to determine the number one contender, but of course Bloodline had to stick their nose into their business, and so Nick Aldis said, "Checkmate, Roman, you get a four way at Rumble." And then you got Rock on Monday calling out Roman ish, and so. It's kind of a little chaotic right now. So, Jolie, how do you see this all playing out? Well, I've been reading a lot of the the tweets and articles and all that fun stuff. First things first, it was never about Roman for Cody Rhodes. I want to put that right out there. It's about the title. Mm -hmm. It's always been about the title. Right. And if AJ Styles or Randy Orton win that title and Cody Rhodes wins his back-to-back Royal Rumbles and he gets in the face of Randy Orton or AJ Styles, I'll tell you this right now. I'd be more hyped about that match than Roman and Cody. Um, Because Roman and Rock don't need the title because it's about pride. It's about family. It's about pride. So. So I'm intrigued. I like the fatal four way. This way, if Jay or Jimmy and Solo get involved, maybe AJ has backup. And uh, speaking of AJ, the Styles Clash off the second rope by Mia on EO was amazing. That match. <laughs> yes. uh, I, I think they said Petey Williams directed that match. Phenomenal job, dude. Keep it up. Amen. But- Bravo. But, you know, in all honesty, like, any three of those guys, if, if Ro- Roman loses the title. So I want to actually pitch something while, while we're talking about this. Cause, and then this will, since Kayla will be next after this, so I'll pitch this in a second. You know, so again, I'm okay with whatever happens because it's not about the title. So if Roman loses the title, I'll be all, hap- all happy. Now, Kayla. Kayla, look at me. Um, look at I'm me. I'm listening. All right. <laughs> So let's say it's the fatal four-way 
AJ's guys get involved. Jimmy and Jay, or uh, Jim, Jimmy and so why do you keep calling Jay? Jimmy They're and so Solo get them. involved. The Walrus gets involved. Maybe even Cody gets involved. And then you see, you know, Roman just surveying the damage. And all of a sudden you hear, if you smell. How would you feel if he came down, rock bottom Roman, like the little bitch boy that he is? Sorry, Mama Larissa. And she don't care at this point. She's fed up. With and Roman. just and just pulls. Or, or and then just takes out Solo, takes out Jimmy, takes out you know the OC. Well, actually, no, he'd probably be the OC alone. And then just like lets wh- whoever crawl on top and get the three count. Because in all honesty, when I'm watching that, I'm going to be fucking hyped if that happens. Well, you know, for it, it'd be one way to target. Um, because you know. Honestly, I could actually see that happening. Roman thinking, okay, you're on you 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 went back on Raw. And I can kind of see him laying low until, you know, the rumble. Right when uh Roman thinks he's not coming, he just say, Oh, he's nothing but words. And if his music hits and he comes out and takes out everybody. And at this point, honestly, if the rumor's true, Roman will not get pinned um at the rumble, but they're saying that there's a possibility and history can be made by breaking the record of his title reign and crowning a new champion which who i believe that it's going to be i hope damn well it is because i know that person will have more than honor and nothing to put cody Rhodes over at wrestlemania to finish the story so um i am more than happy if that happens because you know i want to see you know, Roman lose because we've had it for so long. Have seen it so long. And like you said, sorry, Mama Larissa for rock bombing Roman Reigns. She loves Roman. She really does. But she's like all of us. She is tired of the nonsense. She's tired of the craziness. She's tired of him not showing up. It is sad when your SmackDown champion that shows up day in and day out to either cut a promo, kick people's ass, get her ass kicked or handed to her each and every week is your women's champion EO Sky. There she is literally holding that whole division down because you don't see Roman. And you sure hell don't see the dickhead Maverick either. Oh, I got issue with that motherfucker. Oh, well, well all right, all right. We'll get to that in a second. <gasps> but yeah, what you said, I'm all for. Rock comes out and wants to knock everybody out. As long as Roman loses at Royal Rumble, well, I guess when we get ready to do our predictions, we'll find out how that vibe goes. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, all right. So, all right. So, Jolie, I agree. Roman and Rock do not need a title. The names are big enough. The story is big enough. The family is big enough. It does not need a title. Screw all that. With the four, with the fatal four way, it makes perfect sense to have someone other than Roman eat the pen to take the title. Based on what you're saying, Kayla, I'm assuming you mean Randy. Okay. Okay. So. Him to get number fi- him to get number fifteen, carry it to Mania and put Cody over. I'm totally down for it. And it's like with somebody else taking the pen other than Roman, it protects him. And I just thought about this too. If they're actually going to take the time this year to celebrate uh, Hogan for some stupid ass reason and everything, I seriously doubt they're going to break his record. So yeah, it's when, like, when, yeah, when they said that they were celebrating for, I'm like, they're not going to take that record away from him. Yeah. So it's like, if they're going to take the time this year to celebrate Hogan, I doubt they're going to break their, re- they're, they're going to have the record break broken and everything. And I know Triple H is not stupid. He sees the fans. He hears all the garbage and everything online and everything about, uh oh, Kayla, you're, you're fuming. What irks me? I was going to say this about everybody on damn Twitter. Okay. And I will say this to the WWE that wants him to break this fucking record. It's not the WWE championship that he's trying to break. I don't know why they're trying to say it. it's universal fucking title, people. It's not the WWE championship. Why does that have to hold the universal title for so fucking long? You don't... Ugh, that's what aggravates me. People yeah. right. It's not the WWE championship he's trying to break record. These Hogan's still going to hold that damn motherfucking record. And these other, he's broken regardless because it's the WWE title. It's not the Universal title. 
So I don't even see what the point of him holding for so long because you're technically not breaking a title that they made a long time ago. Don't make no sense. It's the damn universal title. Well, I mean, it's like because the titles have been combined, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, don't get me, I mean, I, I could be wrong, but it's like, I think it's because the titles are combined and it's technically a world title. And whenever they do the graphics online and everything, it's like Bruno, uh, Hogan, and then of course, whoever the fuck you just passed on too long ago. So it's like, I think world title reign, like, so I think that's what they mean. But again, I could be wrong. It's just aggravating. It's just like, then don't call it the Universal Championship no more. Yeah, Call it the WWE whatever t- something title. It's undisputed WWE Universal Championship. That's the official Still, name That makes no it. sense. So, I, I know, I know. And the difference is between now and then, they didn't do as many shows, so you didn't have as many... You had so many days between title defenses. Yeah. But with Roman Reigns' case, you might he might defend the title now. We won't ever see him defend the damn title until next year. Exactly. So it's just like with the status of everything, Roman's contract, his amount of appearances and everything, he's a big enough name already. He's huge. He don't need a it, damn you don't need a damn title every time. We've proven your point, bud. No, he doesn't need the title. And it's like the four way sets it up beautifully. Take the title off him. Don't have him get pinned. Keep that record intact as far as Keep that record intact as far as like being pinned. I mean, yeah, it's a fatal four way, so it's c- technically single. So, but it's just like keep that record intact. You set up Roman and Brock for the for WrestleMania and everything that does not need a title, and it's like you set up a new path for a new reign. And because it's like uh, it, it's just ridiculous. And of course, of course, of course, we do have to bring up the elephant in the room. Who's got the purple briefcase? Because it's like he may get involved somehow and everything. Whether or not his is going to be a successful cash in, I don't know. I don't. I haven't seen any rumors about whether or not it's going to be successful or not. But you know he's going to be a pain in the ass until money in the bank, which is going to be in Toronto. Between him getting screwed out every week by a Claymore or Jay Uso or Cody Rhodes, and some point JD Madonna in between, and you know. Sometimes I think even our truth got involved. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know at this point. It just Damien at this point, he'll be better off trying to. If you're trying to go after Seth, you might be better off trying to go after Rhea. And good luck with that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, not fucking believable. Honestly, oh. I, I I'm at the point with Damien. Um, I I honestly feel, um, that he is being screwed and i still think that a certain demon has the contract and that damien doesn't that's why they keep stopping him oh because that's right because that purple briefcase was originally given him from jd madonna so you never knew what was in that yeah we never saw them check it nope never did he just so you know i i absolutely you know that's just been sitting in the back of my mind for a little bit i'm like oh wait a minute that that's a possibility it could he, they might not even have it yeah and like i think that maybe um maybe another remember? That dominic dominic knows i think dominic knows and he's just trying to stop that he doesn't want to tell damien that he knows yeah. because then he'd have to tell them how he knows right yeah, and it made me also think about um, when Seth Rollins won the Money in the Bank. Who always stole his briefcase and went and did crazy jokes on it, like the green slime and different things with Mister Dean Ambrose, aka Mox. So that kind of reminds <laughs> me. That kind of brings flashbacks. Now that yeah. said that, I can see that happening. I was like, yes, bring them back flashbacks that what um, Ambrose used to do to Rollins all the time. That was great, and I love the fact. Speaking of that, we're on it. He goes when he get the green. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> he was always such a jokester god i i, I missed i miss that character of his hits i mean don't get me wrong he's great over in aew but yeah he's a little bit more serious over in aew now but you know the lunatic kind of made him a little crazy and a little you know fun to watch so but yeah they made me flashbacks when she said that about ambrose and rollins in the briefcase <laughs> oh my god for real for real for real. uh 
And then also with this WrestleMania picture and everything, we can't forget about the punk. Which honestly, I cannot believe I'm saying this. What? I just get this feeling that Bomb will um that he's probably as much as we need Cody Rhodes, I have a feeling he's gonna be the one to win the rumble. I don't know why I'm getting that feeling, but I just have a feeling it's gonna end up being punk winning that rumble. Or as I stated before, even more better, because obviously we've seen that CM Punk wants Seth Rollins. Cody wants to finish the story. So what if we do another so what if we do another tie like we had at Bret Hart and Lex Luger let them both win so that way they both get their opportunities and honestly I don't think Seth and Punk need a title either and Seth and Punk don't need a title but how what you know we don't know what kind of contract things he has what exactly did they offer him to bring him back that's what we don't know that's behind the scenes that we don't know we just know he says he's home. He's glad he's home. He's, you know, glad to be around the fans. Um, you know, and I, you know, honestly, you may not be a huge fan of him, but you know, I'm happy to see him home because everyone believes that WWE is their home and they eventually find their way home. And um, you know, the rumors are saying that possibly WWE is trying to, you know, start teaming up with TNA. And if that's the case, more people's gonna come home where they belong. I wonder and if I'm that's why you. Deanna didn't resign. Possibly. Because she hates WWE. That's a possibility. That might be a red flag right there, the reason why she went over there. But I'm just saying, if that's the case, because rumors are flying around that one Miss I Feel the Glow wants to come mm-hmm. home. So that's another opportunity to bring home. And you put to DNA, yeah. the Carolina boss lady is probably going to get her dream real soon. Well, they're already saying that she's one of the um, surprise entrants for the women. And yeah, I've heard, I've heard that, and I'm okay for that. I'm, I'm, I'm actually <laughs> because we've they've worked with TNA before, and I think, mm-hmm. um, what's his face has a good relationship with Triple H. Uh, uh got a more. Yeah, or more. I don't know how to pronounce it, but. And, and and Santino's over there running. Yeah, Santino's running. He's <laughs> he's a trip. I'm telling you that day. I'll give you a little funny story while we're on it. That day that the um Trey and Zach had won the tag titles, they have that they have that um vibe with those sister and they'll do, draw the great draw the green X on the on their titles as they get them like to mark the territory. Yeah, they the tag titles stand here. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Not the impact property. Don't you know? Don't do that. <laughs> like flipping out. Like don't do that. Oh my god. Yeah. <sighs> so many options. So many. You know. Like I said, we don't know. I mean, oh might... shit! What? What, Jolie? It's rumored that Laporta has an LCL sprain. Ah, oh, damn! This is why, if you're already in the playoffs, you shouldn't be playing. Don't your play your fucking starters. Oh shit! Shit! Oh my god! Well, I look at it this way: the Eagles need to start their starters. However, if somehow the Cowboys are whooping the ass of, of Washington, which is definitely a possibility, then pull them and put the backups in, you know? Right. Even if they're playing well and clicking on all cylinders, uh, MetLife Stadium field is trash. It's ass. It's disgusting. So, but no, I, I especially with them saying that they're now saying that, P, uh, that they're calling them PLEs now. TNA is calling their their pay per views PLEs and nobody else. Ah, ever... That's a big flag right there. And it was rumored, isn't it rumored that um, Endeavor wants to buy TNA? Yeah, I think so. Yep, so that's it's... what it's saying. And I'm telling you, you think the women's match and certain people return and win that women's match? No voice. Okay, my voice will be probably gone. Now, can you imagine <laughs> certain people? Show up in the men's rumble. It's a done deal. <laughs> it is a done deal. I promise you, I'd be going because <laughs> I won't have no voice. And because and when that... and then unfortunately, it would be me and Cat reading the uh, flashcards for Kayla. 
<laughs> yeah, luckily, luckily, there's a chat option with Zoom in that we know this is audio and everything. So it's like, there's a chat option with Zoom. So Kayla's going to have to be typing in her comments and everything. So Julie, have to go back. Julie and I are going to have to go back and forth. So the people that I'm saying um, that obviously that watch the show know, but if they are in some surprise entrances in the ring, happen to be a, I will just say, a, a rascal read. Zach Rinse or a possible Trey Miguel. Oh, it's a done deal. It, it's over. It's because I'm probably pretty sure, like I said, the rumored people that's returning in the Rumble for the female. And more than likely, the female match will probably kick off. It normally does. And then if my prediction for the women Rumble wins, yeah, the yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have no voice. Thank goodness. <laughs> I, I have heard that there's a second person that they're thinking about. Uh, it's a toss up between two now. Probably the two I think who we think it is Becky and Bailey. Yep, that's the two. Which I'm happy either way. Ba- uh, Bailey would get her first ever Rumble win. I'd be happy for her, and then Becky would go down in history as the first ever two time women's Royal Rumble winner. Which I'm okay with. That's history making moment. Oh yeah. So oh, yeah. so sure. th- this is and I at first I was okay with Bailey winning, but then somebody said, you know. Dakota's going to screw her and then take over and then that's when you know ooh. So I, I was like ooh I, I kind of like that oh my god we get to we don't record for two weeks for all, all of us are coming back with some crazy ideas and like thoughts and stuff like that so it's just like it's beautiful it's such a beautiful sight it's a beautiful sight <sighs> all right so another rumor that played out on Friday, and I know Kayla was happy as hell about this one. So, okay, so Bobby Lashley's out with the Street Profits, talking up a storm, and then we have Karrion Cross, a brunette Scarlet, which was fabulous, and then of course the return of AOP with Paul Ellerling and Kayla. Like I said, I know you were happy as hell about that. Um, like, as soon as they brought the videos back, um, I know, you know, seeing Cross, he said, kept saying, new things are coming. Um, and then they released that one video on the air and automatically saying, saw the people in the back of the clip. And I said, I looked at mom and I said, he's in a faction. And if you look at it, it's AOP. He's bringing yeah. Paul L ring back too. So mom looked at that clip and then he released a second one, revealing it even more. And he says, authors that was a big <laughs> red flag right there and then the fact you know and we kept thinking who's he going to target mom still was trying to figure out why would he target bobby lashley and i said think about it who did he lose his last match to mm-hmm. she says makes more sense right so and the fact that bobby was out there with the street profits you know talking bobby declared himself in the royal rumble and the time starts clicking like you said cross walks out scarlet Walked out, did her little crunch down. Paul was behind him. And and I was like, AOP, Akum and Rizar is going to tackle from behind. Sure enough, they did. And um, can we, hold on. Can we just note that while, yes, Scarlet is hot as a blonde. Even um, more hotter than a brown. <laughs> um, I swear to God, every lesbian that I know wanted to know who the fuck she was. <laughs> When I tell you that woman can now make panties drop even more, 100%. She is, this is a smoke show. 100%. She, she is, she is the maestro. She is everything. And God damn. For real. All I right. Mean, y'all, you can't see it on TV. I mean, but come on. The outfit fit it too? Come I on. Know, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, like she said. never, she never fit with the blonde hair. Like, that was, like, the one thing, like, aesthetically looking at it is, like, it just doesn't fit. And then this just, everything just clicked. It's like, okay, this is what, sh- this is badass. This is, this is Scarlet now to me. <laughs> th- th- this this is a badass bitch. And the th- fact- this is, this is, step on me, mommy. All right. Badass. Jolly, like, cool off. <laughs> but, and, you know, I know, I absolutely fucking, I was at work and it was dead. So I'm scrolling. And as soon as I said, that, I was going to say something in chat, I'm like, 
nah, I'll just wait until Sunday. Don't need to to get told twice about how happy and <laughs> I'd rather see the expression, not read the texts from from Kayla. Oh, God. Okay, jolly cool off. Kayla, continue. I'm good. <laughs> but no, the fact that she also tweeted out on her Twitter saying, welcome to my dark side, made it even a little bit. Um, But no, that the fact that they returned, <laughs> Cross is, you know, telling them what to do, the triple power you know, their, whatever, their bomb thing they did. Um, yeah, rack them up. Yeah, rack them up, and then he turned around, and Bobby was coming in. I knew he was going to get the final prayer, which he did. Sets it up be awesome. Um, they're saying that, basically, I think rumors are that Cross is the leader of the faction, and there's a possibility that he has not revealed the name out. He has the name of the faction, and he's just basically telling people to just be patient. It's coming. Um but rumors stated that it might be named after his finisher at the final prayer, which would be kind of cool. You know, whatever it is, I know it's something exciting. Um, yeah. There's been a lot of haters on Twitter, um, especially at one podcast that we love to talk shit about. Not going to say any name. I'm pretty sure these ladies can figure out who they are. Um, but they're, fat, they're the one that, com- you know, first ones automatically trash AOP, saying tr- AO- AOP is trash. Teaming up with Cross ain't gonna make them any better. Um, but honestly, they're gonna make each other better. Mm-hmm. And in the fact you have AOP with the help of Cross and Paul and Scarlet, Doomsday is upon SmackDown and its official Bobby Lashley and his Street Profits and anybody else on that roster fall yeah. in. Right. And they mm-hmm. added a female too to the, the Street Profits Bobby Lashley faction. B-fab. Yeah. BFAB's not Yeah, funny. yeah, yeah. It, 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 honestly, it's like, I mean, AJ Francis did some interviews and everything, and I've seen videos of her, and it's like Natty Crazer, like after a live sh- a live event one weekend and everything. BFAB can go in the ring because the video that I saw of her was at the dungeon, um, and it's like she was going against Khan. And so Even the guy like, that owes us an interview, that con? Yeah, that con. That con. Okay. Um, and so it's like she was like putting up her own against him and everything. So it's like B Fab can go. It so it's just it was B Fab Con. Ricky Starks was there. I think he was wrestling Odyssey Jones. Um, and I will say this right now. Watching Jade wrestle mm-hmm. in the dungeon, she looked 10 times better than she ever did in AEW. They're holding her off to the Rumble. I know it. They're holding her off to the Rumble. Well, again, her mom was sick. Yeah, that too. No, but like people bitching, moaning, complaining. You know, his, her mom was sick and she was doing everything that she, you know, learning. You want her to be 100% ready for an environment that is 10 times different than what she was in AEW. She was coddled in AEW. Right. But re- when she, you're training at one of the most premier gyms in mm-hmm. the world and you are taking everything that they're saying and doing everything that they're saying properly, props to Jade, props to BFAB. Mm-hmm. You know what? I want Ricky Starks in WWE. Yeah, when I watching him, I, I wouldn't mind Khan in a WWE. Mm-hmm. Man, Kayla, you okay? No, she's not. Panthers Damn are fucking up. Damn motherfucker could have made it six to three. Well, guess what? Here's the uh, field goal. Here's his ball. That way should have gone that uh, way. Shit. I guess I understand it was fifty-two fucking yards, but damn, he could have made it. Oh my god, it was Man. whatever. <laughs> Man, I was like last night. It's like Fairbairn made a fifty fifty one yard, but he, did, he missed the extra point. And I was like, going, "Really, did?" But luckily, but luckily we pulled it out. But but damn, because it's like I knew something was up because like your expressions were crazy. Man, no, but it's like getting back to cross and everything. It's just like I'm I'm excited for the debut. I'm just intrigued to see where this goes even further. Uh, you can 
hell, it's like if they do the name, it's like something around Final Prayer or Doomsday. I'm happy with either. And it's just like it's gonna be a it's gonna be a wild ass ride. And someone I else just, said House of Pain too. No, that that'll get ripped apart. Yeah, that true. that's too close to House of Black. True. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, but it's like I want them to get an actual decent push, and I just don't want them to be used as jobbers and just like having them lose all the time and everything. I don't want that at all. And I know Kayla doesn't want that at all because she's going to go ballistic as fuck. Hell, I'm already ballistic because the dude can't win a damn single match. You know, so it's like, why put him in a faction? You're going to make everybody lose in the faction. I know, right? I don't want that to happen and everything, especially if they're doing this big of a push but and everything. eventually, we're supposed to be, what, getting the split of the tag titles? Which, half the time, I forget that Finn Balor is one half of those tag titles. Um... Because they don't ever come out with them. Have you noticed that on Monday Night Raw? It's very not rare. much. Yeah, it's very rare you ever see them with those tag titles. I don't know why, but yeah, you know. But if they split it, what if we get the AOP versus Street Profits for those tag titles, and AOP takes it off? They are former tag champs. Exactly. Okay, that could happen. And then what? Eventually, um, put. I don't know. Let's say. Obviously, we probably can predict that Logan Paul is probably going to beat Kevin Owens at the Royal Rumble, um, leading to many LA Knight. So, what if we set up the whole LA Knight and Cross? Cross gets the United States title later down the line. I like that. So, I, I like mean, that. there's a lot of options that's out there. A lot of options that are open. Um, hey, but I'm intrigued to see how this is building up towards Royal Rumble. Especially, are you gonna have all three of them in the Rumble together? I mean, I know Paul's not gonna be in the Rumble. Him and Scarlett would either A, be backstage on call or watching right. from the sideline. Um, right. But, but can you imagine? No, matter of fact, a surprise I want in the Women's Royal Rumble, I don't care if they go in, gets goes in, throws the top, just to say that she was part of the history-making moment of being in the Rumble. I want Scarlett in it. I think Scarlett will be in it because they said that she was going to be wrestling more, I thought. I hope she's yeah. in the I hope she is. Yeah, because it's like she can go. So it's just oh, like. she can yeah. go. She does not. She's we have not given a chance. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay, you're good. But I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what's going on. So. I know. I guess Jolie, we'll wanna... pray. The end is yeah. there. Okay, so Jolie, other than Scarlett, you want to put your two cents in about this? Um, Seeing them come out the way that they came out was just absolutely amazing. I thought seeing him just appear out of the darkness scarlet then paul and then he oh my god it's alp i'm like well, who else the fuck would it be you could tell by the silhouettes are you that fucking stupid like oh they my gotta god re- you gotta react somehow like they didn't see it coming <laughs> all right or they could have said holy shit the rumors are true <laughs> no be more believable what other two guys look like giant oompa loompas <laughs> <laughs> who do you think is supposed to be FTR? I don't know, right? But, but in all honesty, like I'm looking forward to it. Um, mm-hmm. I don't like it being called the final prayer. I think it needs to be called Doomsday. Just I don't know because- if it's called that, but that's what they're saying. It's going to be. I don't know. I wish I could reach out. To, I wish I could reach out the cross and get a straight answer from them. But no, like I'm, I'm looking forward to, to seeing what happens with that. Um, because once they do split it, then you'll have the Creed brothers on one end going against Finn and and Damian, mm-hmm. and then you'll have AOP and um the Street Profits and like that whole thing. And I think that the the tag division is actually building up very nicely, both for the men and the women. And it's like, I, I'm I'm ready for the first match between Kabuki Warriors and uh, Alba, Fire, Alba Fire and Isla Dawn. <laughs> I'm waiting for the first match. <laughs> After what happened at the uh, ho- Holiday Havoc match. Oh, man. But cause I do have a confession to make. When the first video came out from Cross, I didn't, I, 
you said that you saw the glimpses of AOP. I watched it twice and I couldn't find it, but of course I saw it with the second video. I didn't see it with the first video. I was like, what the fuck is she talking about? I'm like, I guess I'm gonna have to wait. <laughs> so what you had to do with that, if you watch it on YouTube, um, there is an actual like just turn the volume completely down and then there's a slow speed. That's how I saw them. Like clearly. Again, like I'm a nerd like that, where I will actually go and I'll dissect everything a couple times. Okay. So, like, they weren't super clear in the first one, and the second one they were. But you're like, able, you were yeah. able to see you would a you were able to see the figures and figure out. So, like I said, it's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to it, and you know, it's about time that something good has happened for Cross, in my humble opinion. Amen. Amen. All right. Before we get to tweets, Jolie, you said something about Logan Paul? Motherfucker, you seriously gave the United States title to fucking Kermit the Frog for a goddamn Super Bowl ring, you stupid ass piece of shit. <laughs> you want to talk is- about one of the most overhyped and irrelevant people? Yeah, go to go to Patrick Mahomes because that's exactly who the fuck he is. <laughs> He has sucked more bombs this year than you have. You know, I mean, I get it. You, you, you're both fake champions of your, your. He, you're the cha- you're the fake champion of the U.S. title, and he's the fake champion of the AFC West because he's in a shitty. Is he in the West or the East? I forget which one, but he's West. in a he's in a shitty division too. Mm-hmm. And you know. I I can't wait. You know what? Fuck L.A. Night. I want Andrade to come beat the ever loving fucking shit out of you, just for shits and giggles. Oh, I got I got another thought about I I I got something about him. Uh-huh. Like, there's there's a rumor. There is something rumored that he's supposed to return in the Rumble, and if his music hits, woo wee. Look, Zelina kind of fucking said shit. I got I a secret. I know, right? <laughs> we all know your secret, honey. But honestly, it's like since uh, Santos is teaming up with uh, Umberto and Angel and everything, uh, with Ray being out, uh, I think Andrade might come back and uh, team up with LWO. Oh, honestly, I think that'd be fucking amazing because l- looking at like you know his one of the biggest feuds of before Andrade left was him versus Ray, and mm-hmm. the fact that you have even though he yes he is a great heel. But like, I would like to see him embrace being a a face for a little bit. He can go to being a heel a little bit later, but like, I would like to see him in that capacity, in that aspect, with LWO being part of one of the coolest factions, in my opinion. You know, and just loving every minute of it because you know I like, I, even though I had a little bit of issue, personal problem with Andrade when I met him. I took the time, you know, and just was reading other interactions with him. So he he is on the we'll give a second chance to. Just like Seth has been worming his way into that second chance. We're still not there yet. <laughs> but, you know, I, I just think that he would be a great adversary, especially with both of their lucha backgrounds, especially with them, I think, even wrestling together in Mexico. Right. And L um so it's just it's just awesome. And I I will say this if the other rumor is fucking true. If a certain person who is no longer on the AEW website music hits, oh. I will mark out. You know I that, will you know, mark out. You know that arena will too. <laughs> And I would love that stare down between him and Punk in the middle of the ring. Yeah, I mean, it probably won't, but it would it would be amazing if it did. Oh, I know. <laughs> he's actually grown on me, so it's just like, you know, I know yeah. he's a lot cleaner, and it's just like I never thought I would say that he grew up, grew to, grew um, grew on me. But it's just like, if he does, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and I will say this right now, hey, um, Adam Cole and TK. Do y'all have an original thought in your body? Undisputed Kingdom? You couldn't come up with a different name of a faction of men 
And you're basically saying Wardlow's going to beat MJF and hand me the title. The no, fuck? Samoa Joe. Oh yeah, sorry, Samoa Joe. I I forgot that Joe won it. Yeah. Yeah. But That's, it's just I, mean, I, I I'm just and it's just like I was like, it was them all the time. I'm like, I've done known. We even knew that from the start who it was. It was so easy to see. While he was, you never saw a lot of it from the waist down. Yeah. Unless it was Roddy doing it. You saw mostly from up. So why would they do that if they weren't hiding the fucking boot? True. Very, very true. So yeah, you, you can tell this is getting a little bitch. Like I said, Tony Khan, get an original idea. <laughs> because if you're trying to recreate what Adam Cole had in NXT, you're not you're going luck. to be ever able to replicate that. And just remember, his best match came against, I believe it was Karrion Cross, right? Wrong? Did he face Cross? Yeah, he did. That was that was I think one of his better matches. Cross took his ass to town, and he was absolutely one hundred percent right about him. <laughs> oh man! Okay, so we mentioned it earlier. Me ten Friday night. I'm glad she had the chance to show up. I knew the chances of her winning the title were slim. Jolie, like you said, that AJ the style clash of the second rope phenomenal. I'm just so happy for her that she had that chance. And back in NXT for a second, Walking Wild, did y'all see the video of his leap from the ropes? He had to tag match. Apparently, they they practiced it beforehand, and he said it wasn't that good, but they were able to convince Sean to let them do it. And, you know, then that one was, and then they did the different angles of it. I was like, holy shit, this is fucking amazing. That was shit. He got so much fucking height on it. It was absolutely ridiculous. It's like All right. when you're trying to get the last toy at, at Target on Black Friday. Woo! Punk. <laughs> All right, Kayla. What you got? Well, I've got a couple. I got three fun tweets before we get into the serious ones. Oh, shit. Okay. Last singles pin, May 30th, 2022. Rhea Ripley. Last singles pin, April 5th, 2022, Gunter. Last singles pin, December 15th, 2019, Roman Reigns. Okay, I just thought that was fun history. This next one, this next one is all the men's history, and it has people in it. So I just thought it was interesting. I got one for the females, too. Okay. Longest championship reigns, WWE championship. 283 days, Bruno San Martino. Thank you. Okay. Uh, 1,474, Hulk Hogan. Bob Backlund was 1,470. Okay. Uh, Bruno again was 1,287. And Pedro Merlawis was 1,027. Universal. Roman Reigns, 121 and counting. Brock Lesnar, 503. Kevin Owens, 188. Brock Lesnar, 156. And Braun Strowman, 141. Hmm. Okay. Intercontinental. Gunter, 572 and counting. Honky Tonk Man, 453. Pedro Malaris, 424. Randy Savage, 414. Don Morocco? Don Morocco, yeah. Okay, 384. United States Championship. Lex Luger, 523. Rick Rude, 378. Dean Ambrose, 351. MVP, 343. And Nikita Koloff, 328. Oh, okay. This next one is Raw, SmackDown, NXT, and Divas titles combined. So this is the order of combined reigns. Okay. Monday Night uh, Raw Championship, number one, Becky Lynch, 559. Bianca Belair's in at 419. Alexa Bliss is at 396. SmackDown, Bailey, 519. Charlotte, 479. Bailey, 278. NXT, Shayna Baszler, 548. Asuka, 522. Mandy, 413. Divas, AJ Lee, 406. Nikki Bella, 307. And Maurice is 231. 
That's combined, right? That's all their combined reigns, which okay. I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, because honestly, NXT longest title is still Asuka regardless, but Shane has got to combined. Yeah. Okay. okay. Nice. This person posted these two tweets. These two go together. Okay. And then the other one's probably going to wrinkle Cat's socks. Um. Anyway, I this is supposed... Socks. Well... <laughs> this is a... well, anyway, the Korean ID... IWC did their end of the year wrestling awards. Okay. Worst heel of the year. And the list, honestly, that don't leave you many heels left. So who are you considering a heel? <laughs> Worst heel of the year. Solo Sequoia, Roman Reigns, Jimmy Uso, Zia Lee, Austin Theory, CM Punk, and Karrion Cross. Who's left? Damn. That's a... And they said and they said Solo Sequoia won the reward. The worst heel? Yes. <laughs> okay. Weird. <laughs> okay. This next one. The honorable, honorable mention is what rubbed me the wrong way. Okay. Worst worker of the year. Sola Sequoia, Shotzi, Roman Reigns, Ronda Rousey, Karrion Cross, CM Punk, Jimmy Uso. Honorable mentions. Ridge Holland and Bray Wyatt. No, no. Bray Wyatt. Oh, they, Bray oh. Wyatt won it. Yep. Fuck what... that. How dare they? That was from this Korean. man. Yep. Had one match in 2023 and had to step away for health reasons, and then ended up passing away. How fucking dare the guy, you? The guy that posted it originally. The guy that posted it originally, people commented on it and said, how could they honestly do an honorable mention like that? And the guy that said he, he, um, on it, he said, it honestly pissed me the fuck off. He says, why would you do that? Putos. Pentejos. Cabrones. Oh my God. How fucking dare they? That is... That's where it, Take yeah. your site down. Take your page down for that bullshit. The Korean PCW, whatever they were, I don't know. They can yeah. go they can go fuck themselves for all I care. That was bullshit. Okay. Act. What? Let me finish the whole tweet before you react. Oh shit. Mute. At elite, <laughs> elite Club SOB is who would said it. Okay. When Punk when Punk left WWE and joined AEW after a decade, he sold out a 15k Cedar Arena, gave AEW its first million dollar gate was its top draw. Okay. When Sasha Banks left WWE and went to New Japan, she barely sold out a 2K Cedar Arena, didn't boost the ratings, and YouTube views were low as fuck. She's not the draw she thinks she is. She's not on Charlotte Flair's level. She's only famous in the Twitter circle. Triple H didn't fumble anything. It's Sasha Banks who fumbled. She did the same thing that Ultimate Warrior did back in 1990s. Before Cat responds. <laughs> I'm going to actually look at this at a more. They're not wrong in the in the saying that you know she couldn't sell out over there despite being how big she is. Do I think she's worth Charlotte Flair money? To a certain degree, yes. However, she needs to earn that back in the company. Or any company. When you have. The audacity. No matter how right you are. To basically lay the titles down. And say fuck you and walk out. You need to earn. Your respect back. Within the company. Triple H might respect and love her to death. They might love and respect her to death. Her coworkers, But because you have that behavior are you going to be like well it, can she quit again will she quit again will she walk away you don't know she needs to earn trust back i say they should have they they probably offered her a shit ton of money i know tony's offered her a shit ton of money and i'll say this right now if she goes to aew it's not going to move the needle at all nope not at all her home is wwe It'll always be WWE. And 
I feel that while she does have a large following on the net, most of that following is for horsewomen fans. Not just, I mean, yes, you have Mr. Sasha Banks, who's an amazing dude. Love all the content that he puts out. And you do have ones that are strictly for her, but most of us are that like her, like all of them. I found her because of the four horsewomen. I didn't find her without them, you know? So I think that she just needs to earn trust back. If she goes to AEW, again, it's not going to move a needle. That that division is is shite regardless. Um I mean, you had you have one of the greatest wrestlers as a champion that you don't get to see on TV, Athena. Thunder Rosa just came back. You barely see her. Nyla Rose has been in the back of catering. Britt Baker says the fans wanted her elsewhere. Soraya can't really wrestle that much. And you're playing, you know, ping pong with the title. And you took a title off of, of Statlander. And now you have Stokely sexually harassing her or whatever the fuck he's doing. I don't like that whole thing. So, but she smacked the fuck out of his ass on rampage. I heard good. But again, (laughs) I didn't see it, but (laughs) I love Sasha. I want her to come back. I want her. I want, we all want the fatal four way, Mm -hmm. but she needs to earn trust back in my eyes. And I'm looking at somebody that has worked in multiple different industries where if you walked out, you had to earn trust back, regardless on the reasons why you walked out. Okay, I'm going to mute so Cat can can blow before, up. Before Cat goes, <laughs> I just want to say, um, you know, as far as Sasha and Mercedes goes, um, you know, Jolie's right. All four horsewomen, you love them all for their history making moments for a reason. Um, and I, re- you know honor her that she wanted to go to Japan, make an, you know, make him, you know, herself more money than what she's got. Um, you know, but I will say this, I'll make it short and sweet. AEW doesn't need her. She don't need AEW. If you want to go anywhere and wrestle, come back to WWE. And, you know, because I know one certain role model would love to have you back. Pretty sure once damage control turns on her ass, she's going to need somebody. All um, right. But I'm going to say this. Um, AEW does not need Sasha Banks or Mercedes Monet, whatever she decides to be, you know, um, because like I said, there's that division has been destroyed. It's not being built up. There's not going to be built up. You got OGs not getting a chance. Like Jolie says, you got Ember Moon as a ring of honor woman, excuse me, Athena used to be Ember Moon as one of mm-hmm. your ring of honor women's champion. I forget half the time that she's even a champion. Cause I never see her. Um, but it's the division is destroyed. And, you know, a lot of people say, well, if Mercedes comes in over there, she'll go straight to the title run, take it off of Tony Storm. How's that fair to Jamie Hayter that originally lost that, wasn't supposed to lose that title the way she did because she was injured? How's that fair to people that's worked their butt off from day one that's come back to start all over again, hopefully to get the world title? It's not fair. Um, but AEW, it might be good for her when she first comes in, thinking she's going to get this big old push, Tony's going to push her. He's going to throw her in the back of the drawing board. AEW doesn't need it, and she don't need that either. So, whoever her next step is, regardless if she comes back in WWE as a w- surprise entrance in the Rumble, more power to her. I'm going to love it, and we'll get our fatal four-way. But if she shows up at AEW, Lord help us all and help her, because, I don't know, Tony Khan don't know how to use his women, and we stated that. And I don't want, I know how much she means to you, Kat, and I don't want to see her destroyed in AEW. Like, you know, you also another favorite of yours, Athena, has been destroyed. He's not in the women's division, but he Keith Lee has been destroyed. You know, he's currently injured again. We couldn't get Swerve versus Lee, that match we talked about, because he got injured. We ended up getting a whole other Hangman Adam Page versus Strickland match. So it's AEW period, not just women, is mixed match. I love watching it because of Stat, Orange Cassidy, Best Friends, Mox. But AEW is scrambled. It's twisted. And it goes ups and downs. And um, honestly, just I just want the best for her. And AEW is definitely not it. So, um, but yeah, she, that, oh, that's all I got to say. All right, I'm muting too. Well, here, let's. 
Okay, so the comparisons between CM Punk and Mercedes are absolutely ridiculous because it's like Punk was being brought back from exile in professional wrestling and all he did was just shit over WWE and cause drama backstage. Although Mercedes did not sell out arenas with New Japan and everything, she lived out her dream because she said on a podcast, um, she said on the podcast with uh, Stone Cold and everything, New Japan was always, Japan was always the dream, but WWE called first. So Punk was, Punk was talking bullshit. Sasha was living, Mercedes was living out her dreams. Okay. I agree with both of y'all. I don't want her in, I don't want her in AEW at all. If she goes to AEW, it's strictly for the money. It's strictly for the paycheck. Because I know she wants to make a name for herself wherever she goes. I know she wants to build up the women's division wherever she goes. And Tony Khan don't know how to book his woman for at all. I mean, it's like, yeah, the only reason I keep up with Athena as women's champion is strictly through Twitter or X. I, I, I still I still call it Twitter. We all still call it Twitter. Fuck y'all. Fuck Ellen Musk. Um, so, yeah, I only keep up with Athena as women's champion, ROH women's champion because of social media and everything, which is a damn shame. Okay. And so, yeah, I would prefer her to go back in WWE. If she's asking for Charlotte money, uh, Charlotte money, uh, flare money and everything. Yeah. She may need to roll rings, roll the reins back a little bit on that, but I would love her back. in. I would love her back in WWE. And I, and I, I mean, I agree with both of y'all. I want the best for her. I really do want the best for her because she is a name. She is a big draw. And whoever says that she's not, I mean, because it's like you see all these marks on social media and everything, WWE or AEW wise and everything, they want Mercedes. They want Sasha back in the company and everything. And so it's just like these asswives that said that she can't do shit. Fuck you. And whoever let, uh, whoever put out this damn tweet and everything compared to her to CM Punk, you just need to shut up. Shut up. Get in. Put the keyboard down and get out of your mama's basement. That's it. Again, I'm deeply disappointed in your rant. Well, shit. It's like, if, honestly, I, I toned it down because y'all... Y'all laid out a bunch of good shit and everything, and it's like I and it's like I'm I had a minute to calm down, but it's like I put out some good facts because like comparing her going to New Japan to comparing to Punk who went to AEW and everything is total bullshit. Yeah. No, I, I I agree. It it would be bullshit. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. And in case if you're wondering what I was fist bumping for, um. Another sports update, football, the okay. ball, the foot. Okay. The score is 20 to 28. Tennessee has a slight lead and they were on the one yard line. They Tennessee stopped. Is... No, uh, oh. Jacksonville was. Okay. They stopped Trevor Lawrence with fourth and goal. Yes. Fuck. She just oh. hit her hand. Oh my God. Okay, so I know I've been I know I've been bitching about my arm the last couple of episodes and everything. What's going on is like I'm being I'm seeing a doctor right now for arm pain and possible nerve damage. Um, I don't get a nerve test until next month, but luckily I have two sets of pain mil- pain pills right now that are actually helping me uh, get through the days and everything. I go back to I finally go back to work next week. I've been off for like over I, I've been off for over a month. The only problem is one of my pain pills puts me to sleep. So I'm trying to get adjusted to that so I can work. Actually, I can actually work. But yeah, it's just like sports is sports is hazardous to my health right now. <sighs> don't play with my emotions. Person, go away. You're the reason why I don't even follow you damn women things no more. <laughs> Kayla, do you have any other tweets? No, other than I just saw one. If it's really true, please don't mess with me. You know, I'm already talking about not having a voice. And if that music hits at the rumble... I'm definitely not buying that voice. Uh oh. Someone just says a little rumble. How does it say? A little rain can make a rumble rumble, is what somebody said. A little rain can make a rumble 
Rumble. Rainmaker. Oh, Okada. Azika Okada. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. That, if I hear that coin drop and that music, st- yeah, they will be having index cards or talking in the chat. <laughs> well, luckily we don't do our predictions for two weeks. Recaps in three, so hopefully we'll have Kayla's wonderful voice for the next couple weeks. And then if if she loses it by Rumble recap, then yeah, well we got her back. <laughs> Well, considering, well, let's see, it's that Saturday night. I'll be still, we probably wouldn't record until 2 o'clock that day. Uh, so, well, yeah. I might have it, depends. I think I you might like, be, You're if they have all these excitements and returns and everything like that, your voice is going to be as worse as mine when I had COVID. It might be worse than what mom sounded like the other week when she was sick. Oh, <laughs> horrible, poor thing. Oh, really man. Wow. All right. Oh, my God. Wow. What a first show back. All right. Kayla, final thoughts? Other than 2024, um, it's got a lot of great new exciting things coming for Queens. I'm not going to send any spoilers out, but these girls knows what's coming. Um, But stay tuned for a phenomenal four year of the Queens takeover. And also, if you don't know, we're still WWE Shop Officiated. Um, you can find the um, link that you click on on my page at Writer Chaos. It's pinned tweet. It's also a pinned tweet on YouTube out down. You can also get all your WWE Shop and NXT merch there. So please click that little button. And if you and um, you can find Cody Rhodes merch. You can find Karrion Cross's new Final Prayer shirt. Heck, if you're a fan of Karrion Cross like I am and got it, can't really tell, but because I went on a live, but I have the hourglass. Yes, I have the hourglass of the cross that's in the shop. You can find even a rock shirt. You can find all your Bailey, Charlotte, Becky, Seth. And unfortunately, you can even find a fucking Logan Powell shirt as well. So go make sure to check that out. <laughs> Jolie, any final thoughts? Cody Rhodes is the fucking man. Um, he gifted. The wrestling club tickets to Mania yes, and yeah. paying for their hotel suite or their hotel rooms. Mm-hmm. Um, wrestling club, do not eat in Philly. If you're going to eat in Philly, this goes to anybody coming to Mania. Yes, it's downtown. It's in Center City. It's called Reading Terminal Market. You can get donuts. You can get f- every type of fucking. It's a fucking amazing place to go to. Go to Reading Terminal Market. There's a diner in there. It's great. Near the near the stadium, you got Penrose Center on Penrose Avenue. It's about maybe a 10 to 15 minute walk from the stadium. If you're tailgating, you get there early, you want to park, walk up there, walk back, good times. But, you know, makes me love and respect Cody even more. Um, uh, but uh, also, if, if, if you haven't watched any of the Cat Williams on, on Shannon Sharp's show, his interview, holy shit, he burned down comedy. Like, he literally went after everybody. It was great. I heard. And uh, also, Tony Khan's a bitch. <laughs> and I do want to point out one other thing. Also, on our uh, podcast page um, on Twitter, uh, at QT Bow Down. Up in our profile, you'll see the link there to Redbubble, to our shop, merchant shop. Uh, if you do want to support us, we thank you for those who keep listening to us every single week. Uh, definitely hit up the Redbubble link. Um, shirts, mugs, bags. Uh, it, your support would be greatly appreciated. Uh, and if you do end up getting anything from our uh, shop, definitely when you get it, uh, tag us on a tweet and everything and so let's just uh, put it out there and on that note that's all we have for this episode of the Queen's Takeover thank you so much for joining us and tune in next time as the takeover continues y'all have a good one